Title 8, Crimes Against Persons, Chapter 1, Destruction of Life, Section 1, Parricide, Murder, Homicide, Article 246, Parricide, Any person who shall kill his father, mother, or child, whether legitimate or illegitimate, or any of his ascendants or descendants, or his spouse, shall be guilty of parricide and shall be punished by the penalty of reclusion perpetua to death, as amended by RA number 7659, December 13, 1993. Article 247. Death or physical injuries inflicted under exceptional circumstances. Any legally married person who having surprised his spouse in the act of committing sexual intercourse with another person shall kill any of them or both of them in the act or immediately thereafter or shall inflict upon them any serious physical injury shall suffer the penalty of this chero. If he shall inflict upon them physical injuries of any other kind, he shall be exempt from punishment. These rules shall be applicable under the same circumstances to parents with respect to their daughters under 18 years of age and their seducer while the daughters are living with their parents. Any person who shall promote or facilitate the prostitution of his wife or daughter or shall otherwise have consented to the infidelity of the other spouse shall not be entitled to the benefits of this article. Article 248. Murder. Any person who, not falling within the provisions of Article 246, shall kill another, shall be guilty of murder, and shall be punished by reclusion perpetua to death, if committed with any of the following attendant circumstances. 1. With treachery, taking advantage of superior strength, with the aid of armed men, or employing means to weaken the defense or of means of or persons to ensure or afford impunity. 2. In consideration of a price, reward, or promise. 3. By means of inundation, fire, poison, explosion, shipwreck, stranding of a vessel, derailment or assault upon a railroad, fall of an airship, by means of motor vehicles, or with the use of any other means involving great waste and ruin. Number 4. On occasion of any of the calamities enumerated in the preceding paragraph or of an earthquake, eruption of a volcano, destructive cyclone, epidemic, or any other public calamity. 5. With evident premeditation. 6. With cruelty by deliberately and inhum inhumanly augmenting the suffering of the victim or outraging or scoffing at his person or corpse. Article 249. Homicide. Any person who, not falling within the provisions of Article 246, shall kill another without the attendance of any of the circumstances enumerated in the next preceding article, shall be deemed guilty of homicide and be punished by reclusion temporal. Note under Section 10 of RA Number 7610, the penalty for homicide if the victim is under 12 years of age is reclusion perpetua. Article 250, Penalty for Frustrated Parricide, Murder, or Homicide The courts, in view of the facts of the case, may impose upon the person guilty of the frustrated crime of parricide, murder, or homicide, defined and penalized in the preceding articles, a penalty lower by one degree than that which should be imposed under the provisions of Article 50. The courts considering the facts of the case may likewise reduce by one degree the penalty which under Article 51 should be imposed for an attempt to commit any of such crimes. Article 251. Death caused in a tumultuous affray. When while several persons, not composing groups, organized for the common purpose of assaulting and attacking each other reciprocally, quarrel and assault each other in a confused and tumultuous manner and in the course of the affray someone is killed and it cannot be ascertained who actually killed the deceased but the person or persons who inflicted serious physical injuries can be identified such person or persons shall be punished by prison mayor if it cannot be determined who inflicted the serious physical injuries on the deceased, the penalty of prison correctional in its medium and maximum periods shall be imposed upon all those who ha all those who shall have used violence upon the person of the victim. 
Article 252, physical injuries inflicted in a tumultuous affray. When in a tumultuous affray, as referred to in the preceding article, only serious physical injuries are inflicted upon the participants thereof and the person responsible therefore cannot be identified. All those who appear to have used violence upon the person of the offended party shall suffer the penalty next lower in degree than that provided for the physical injuries so inflicted. When the physical injuries inflicted are of a less serious nature and the person responsible therefore cannot be identified, all those who appear to have used any violence upon the person of the offended party shall be punished by arresto mayor from 5 to 15 days. Article 253, Giving Assistance to Suicide Any person who shall assist another to commit suicide shall suffer the penalty of prison mayor if such person lends his assistance to another to the extent of doing the killing himself. He shall suffer the penalty of reclusion temporal. However, if the suicide is not consummated, the penalty of arresto mayor in its medium and maximum periods shall be imposed. Article 254, Discharge of Firearms any person who shall shoot at another with any firearm shall suffer the penalty of prison correctional in its minimum and medium periods unless the facts of the case are such that the act can be held to constitute frustrated or attempted parricide, murder, homicide, or any other crime for which a higher penalty is prescribed by any of the articles of this code. Section 2. Infanticide and Abortion Article 255. Infanticide the penalty provided for parricide in Article 246 and for murder in Article 248 shall be imposed upon any person who shall kill any child less than three days of age. If the crime penalized in this article be committed by the mother of the child for the purpose of concealing her dishonor, she shall suffer the penalty of prison mayor in its medium and maximum periods, and if and if said crime be committed for the same purpose by the maternal grandparents or either of them, the penalty shall be reclusion temporal, as amended by RA number 7659, December 13, 1993. Article 256. Intentional Abortion. Any person who shall intentionally cause an abortion shall suffer, one, the penalty of reclusion temporal if he shall use any violence upon the person of the pregnant woman, two, the penalty of prison mayor if without using violence he shall act without the consent of the woman, three, the penalty of prison correctional in its medium and maximum periods if the woman shall have consented. Article 257. Unintentional Abortion. The penalty of prison correctional in its minimum and medium periods shall be imposed upon any person who shall cause an abortion by violence but unintentionally. Article 258. Abortion practiced by the woman herself or by her parents. The penalty of prison correctional in its medium and ma maximum periods shall be imposed upon a woman who shall practice an abortion upon herself or shall consent that any other person should do so. Any woman who shall commit this offense to conceal her dishonor shall suffer the penalty of prison correctional in its minimum and medium periods. If this crime be committed by the parents of the pregnant woman or either of them, and they act with the consent of said woman for the purpose of concealing her dishonor, the offenders shall suffer the penalty of prison correctional in its medium and maximum periods. Article 259. Abortion practiced by a physician or midwife and dispensing of abortives. The penalties provided in Article 256 shall be imposed in its maximum period, respectively, upon any physician or midwife who, taking advantage of their scientific knowledge or skill, shall cause an abortion or assist in causing the same. Any pharmacist who, without the proper prescription from a physician, shall dispense any abortive shall suffer arresto mayor and a fine not exceeding 100,000 pesos, as amended by RA Number 10. 951 August 29, 2017. Section 3. Duel. Article 260. Responsibility of participants in a duel. The penalty of reclusion temporal shall be imposed upon any person who shall kill his adversary in a duel. If he shall inflict upon the latter physical injuries only, he shall suffer the penalty provided therefore according to their nature. In any other case, the combatants shall suffer the penalty of arresto mayor although no physical injuries have been inflicted. The seconds shall in all events be punished as accomplices. Article 261. Challenging to a duel. 
the penalty of prison correctional in its minimum period shall be imposed upon any person who shall challenge another or incite another to give or accept a challenge to a duel or shall scoff at or or decry another publicly for having refused to accept a challenge to fight a duel. Chapter 2, Physical Injuries, Article 262, Mutilation. The penalty of reclusion temporal to reclusion perpetua shall be imposed upon any person who shall intentionally mutilate another by depriving him, either totally or partially, of some essential organ of reproduction. Any other intentional mutilation shall be punished by prison mayor in its medium and maximum periods. Note under Section 10 of RA No. 7610, the penalty for other intentional mutilation if the victim is under 12 years of age is reclusion perpetua. Article 263. Serious physical injuries. Any person who shall wound, beat, or assault another shall be guilty of the crime of serious physical injuries and shall suffer, number one, the penalty of prison mayor if in consequence of the physical injuries inflicted, the injured person shall become insane, imbecile, impotent, or blind. Number two, the penalty of prison correctional in its medium and maximum periods if in consequence of the physical injuries inflicted, the person injured shall have lost the use of speech or the power to hear or to smell, or shall have lost an eye, a hand, a foot, an arm, or a leg, or shall have lost the use of any of such member, or shall have become incapacitated for the work in which he was therefore habitually engaged. Number three, the, pen the penalty of prison correctional in its minimum and medium periods. If in consequence of the physical injuries inflicted, the person injured shall have become deformed or shall have lost any part of his body or shall have lost the use thereof or shall have been ill or incapacitated for the, per for the performance of the work in which he was hab habitually engaged or for a period of more than 90 days. Number four, the penalty of arrest to mayor in its maximum period to prison correctional in its minimum period if the physical injuries inflicted shall have caused the illness or incapacity for labor of the injured person for more than 30 days. If the offense shall have been committed against any of the person enumerated in Article 246 or with attendance of any of the circumstances mentioned in Article 248, the case covered by subdivision number 1 of this article shall be punished by reclusion temporal in its medium and maximum periods. The case covered by subdivision number 2 by prison correctional in its maximum period to prison mayor in its minimum period. The case covered by subdivision number 3 by prison correctional in its medium and maximum periods and the case covered by subdivision number 4 by prison correctional in its minimum periods and medium periods. The provisions of the preceding paragraph shall not be applicable to a parent who shall inflict injuries upon his child by excessive chastisement. Note under Section 10 of RA No. 7610, the penalty for serious physical injuries if the victim is under 12 years of age is reclusion perpetua. Article 264. Administering injurious substances or beverages. The penalties established by the next preceding article shall be applicable in the respective case to any person who without intent to kill shall inflict upon another any serious physical injury by knowingly administering to him any injurious substances or beverages or by taking advantage of his weakness of mind or credulity. Article 265 Less Serious Physical Injuries Any person who shall inflict upon another physical injuries not described in the preceding articles but which shall incapacitate the offended party for labor for 10 days or more or shall require medical assistance for the same period shall be guilty of less serious physical injuries and shall suffer the penalty of arresto mayor. Whenever less serious physical injuries shall have been inflicted with the manifest intent to insult or offend the injured person or under circumstances adding ignominy to the offense, in addition to the penalty of arresto mayor, a fine not exceeding 50,000 pesos shall be imposed. Any less serious physical injuries inflicted upon the offender's parents, ascendants, guardians, curators, teachers, or persons of rank or persons in authority shall be punished by prison correctional in its minimum and medium periods, provided that in the case of persons in authority, the deed does not constitute the crime of assault upon such persons, as amended by RA number 10951, August 29, 2017. Article 266, Slight Physical Injuries and Maltreatment The crime of slight physical injuries shall be punished, number one, by arrest to menor, 
when the offender has inflicted physical injuries which shall incapacitate the offended party for labor from 1 to 9 days or shall require medical attendance during the same period. Number two, by arrest to menor or a fine not exceeding 40,000 pesos and censure when the offender has caused physical injuries which do not prevent the offended party from engaging in his habitual work nor require medical assistance. Three, by arrest to menor in its minimum period or a fine not exceeding 5,000 pesos when the offender shall ill treat another by deed without causing any injury. As amended by RA number 10951, August 29, 2017. Chapter 3, Rape. Article 266-A Rape When and How Committed Rape is committed, number one, by a man who shall have carnal knowledge of a woman under any of the following circumstances. Letter A, through force, threat, or intimidation. Letter B, when the offended party is deprived of reason or is otherwise unconscious. C, by means of fraudulent machination or grave abuse of authority. D. When the offended party is under 12 years of age or is demented, even though none of the circumstances mentioned above be present. Number 2. By any person who under any of the circumstances mentioned in paragraph 1 hereof shall commit an act of sexual assault by inserting his penis into another person's mouth or anal orifice or any instrument or object into the genital or anal orifice of another person. RA number A353, October 22, 1997. Article 266-B Penalties Rape under paragraph 1 of the next preceding article shall be punished by reclusion perpetua. Whenever the rape is committed with the use of a deadly weapon or by two or more persons, the penalty shall be reclusion perpetua to death. When by reason or on the occasion of the rape, the victim has become insane, the penalty shall be reclusion perpetua to death. When the rape is attempted and homicide is committed by reason or on the occasion thereof, the penalty shall be reclusion perpetua to death. When by reason or on the occasion of the rape homicide is committed, the penalty shall be death. The death penalty shall also be imposed if the, f if the crime of rape is committed with any of the following aggravating or qualifying circumstances. 1. When the victim is under 18 years of age and the offender is a parent, ascendant, step-parent, guardian, relative, by consanguinity or affinity within the third civil degree or the common law spouse of the parent of the victim. Number two, when the victim is under the custody of the police or military authorities or any law enforcement or penal institution. Three, when the rape is committed in full view of the spouse, parent, any of the children or other relatives within the third civil degree of consanguinity. Four, when the victim is a religious engaged in legitimate religious vocation or calling and is personally known to be such by the offender before or at the time of the commission of the crime. Five, when the victim is a child below seven years old. Six, when the offender knows that he is afflicted with human immunodeficiency virus or HIV or acquired immune deficiency cyst syndrome or AIDS, or any other sexually transmissible disease and the virus or disease is transmitted to the victim. 7. When committed by any member of the armed forces of the Philippines or paramilitary units thereof, or the Philippine National Police or any law enforcement agency or penal institution, when the offender took advantage of his position to facilitate the commission of the crime. 8. When by reason or on the occasion of the rape, the victim has suffered permanent physical mutilation or disability. 9. When the offender knew of the pregnancy of the offended party at the time of the commission of the crime. 10. When the offender knew of the mental disability, emotional disorder, and or physical handicap of the offended party at the time of the commission of the crime. Rape under paragraph 2 of the next preceding article shall be punished by prison mayor. Whenever the rape is committed with the use of a deadly weapon or by two or more persons, the penalty shall be prison mayor to reclusion temporal. When the rape is attempted and a homicide is committed by reason or the occasion thereof, the penalty shall be reclusion ter temporal to reclusion perpetua. When by reason or on the occasion of the rape, homicide is committed, the penalty shall be reclusion perpetua. Reclusion temporal shall also be imposed if the rape is committed by any of the 10 aggravating or qualifying circumstances mentioned in this article. RA number 8353, September 30, 1997. Article 266-C, Effect of Pardon The subsequent valid marriage between the offender and the offended party shall extinguish the criminal action or the penalty imposed. 
In case it is the legal husband who is the offender, the subsequent forgiveness by the wife as the offended party shall extinguish the criminal action or the penalty, provided that the crime shall not be extinguished or the penalty shall not be abated if the marriage be void ab initio. Article 266-D Presumptions Any physical overt act manifesting resistance against the act of rape in any degree from the offended party or where the offended party is so situated as to render her or him incapable of giving valid consent may be accepted as evidence in the prosecution of the acts punished under Article 266-A.